Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film The Day of the All, which is an Italian film produced in 1968. It stars Franco Nero and Claudia Cardinale. The film starts with a murder. We don't know who was the murdered person or who was the murder. And the crime took place in front of the house of a woman called Rosa Nicolosi. And then we realized that it was a small city, very much dominated by the mafia and organized crime. And we can see that the population of the city feared the mafia very much and it kept silence kept silent about every sort of crime, about all criminals. And then we can see a new captain of the police. And he was a honest man. He came from another region in the country. And he was really determined to solve this murder. Because this murder could be connected to corruption related to civil construction. It seems that there were irregularities in civil constructions of the city and that the civil constructions that they were working together with the authorities of the city in order to steal public money. And maybe the murder, the murder was related to that. But as I said, the population feared the mafia very much and they wouldn't denounce anyone. And there was a powerful man in the city connected with crime. Everyone feared him and everyone respected him very much. And the captain knew that he was involved with all the sorts of corruption and murders and crimes, but he had no proof against this powerful man. And it was difficult to find because the population of the city didn't co uh, cooperate with him. Then he started to approach this woman, Rosa Nicolosi. Her husband was missing. We don't know what happened to him. If he was the murderer of the beginning of the film, if he simply left home, or if he witnessed the crime, was threatened by the criminals and had to live. This is never made clear, but we know that Rosa knows much more than we can imagine. But she never said anything. And the entire plot of this film revolves around the captain who wanted to arrest all those criminals of the city. And he fought very hard for that. He talked to as many people as possible. He had some unorthodox methods like fake confessions. He, sh uh, he got to arrest some members of this gang. So he faked confessions of the members of this gang, showed it to other members of the gang in order to make them talk but they didn't denounce any of their accomplices. And at some point, this woman, Rosa Nicolosi, the criminals started to suspect that she had talked too much to the police and betrayed him. And they invented all sorts of humor about her, that she was promiscuous, that she was unfaithful to her husband, and it was a small city. No one in the city wanted to talk to her anymore. She had a little daughter and it was difficult for her to raise her daughter. But actually Rosa didn't say many things. She didn't betray the criminals or anything. So the captain start, start, tried very hard and at some point he got to arrest apparently all members of the gang. So it seemed that everything was going fine, even though that very powerful man, the chief of the criminal gang, he had connections with authorities and powerful people. 
and he didn't seem to care very much that he was arrested. He was feeling too self-confident. And then, of course, after a while, the captain didn't have enough proof to hold those people in jail for too long. Everyone was released. And um, he even got to find out that one of the members of the gang was murdered by the own gang because they thought that this man had also talked too much to the police and so on. But in the very end of the film, the captain actually didn't, didn't get to do anything he wanted. He didn't get to keep the gang members in jail for too long. He didn't get to find extensive proof of criminality related to those people. He didn't even get to solve the murder that happened in the beginning of the film. And the husband of Rosa, he was never found. He was talked about the entire film. He was missing. We don't know why. We don't know if he was dead or alive. We don't know why he left home. And the film is very interesting because it gives a notion to something that many people around the globe know very well in real life, which is corruption. When corruption is too ingrown in the structures of the state, it is almost impossible to solve that. You can't arrest people because they have powerful connections and the biggest companies are in a way or another connected with the criminals. The population is fearful and will never talk, will never denounce the criminals. It's something that we know very well in real life and see in the news every day too. It's interesting because this subject of corruption isn't very often mentioned in classic films. It's a kind of thing that never gets old, even though it seems related to that small city, to that small population and culture. It's an universal thing and that can be related to any place, any population or group. And the, the plot didn't really get old. The film remains relevant. Of course that maybe you don't like too much the way the plot was explored, but I found it very realistic. The end was realistic. The film could be much more violent, but it wasn't. In the end, in the very end of the film, the captain simply left. He left the city and a new captain came and it was made clear that this new captain was much more cooperative with the criminals. And the old captain, the one who wanted to arrest the entire gang, he wasn't murdered simply because the chief of the criminals, he respected the captain for his courage. So he learned to respect the man who was risking his life to fight crime. Therefore, he was not murdered. But on the other hand, it became impossible for him to keep on working in that city. And he wasn't even from that city or from that region. So he left and a new captain came and he would work closely with the criminals like many others before him. So it's a nice film. It has very good actors. It's acted well. We can see some landscapes from small Italian cities. So it has a very nostalgic touch. And I really think you're going to like this. That's all for now, folks. See you.